On his 85th birthday, Red Wings owner Mike Illich and his organization released the tales of a new sports and entertainment district. It's a bold vision for the future of downtown Detroit, and tonight we have a look at the plans, which include a new neighborhood-friendly arena for the Detroit Red Wings, residential housing, hotels, restaurants, and shopping, five mixed-use neighborhoods, and public infrastructure upgrades to lighting, sidewalks, and green spaces. The Illich organization says the project will generate nearly $2 billion in total economic impact, as well as thousands of new jobs. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park gives us a closer look at the investment and what it could mean for the city. Just imagine these abandoned buildings and vacant lots behind me, part of a new vibrant downtown Detroit. The Illich organization says it can be done in three years. Critics say only time will tell if it's a transformation the city needs. It's a plan that promises to make downtown Detroit the shopping, dining, and entertainment mecca of tomorrow. These are the first public renderings of Red Wings owner Mike Illich's vision for the $650 million sports and entertainment district. You can't look at those things and not feel like that would be a huge improvement for that part of downtown. The blueprint takes dozens of blighted blocks along and near Woodward Avenue and transforms them into neighborhoods anchored by Comerica Park, Ford Field, the Fox Theater and other landmarks. I think it's going to be great. It'll get more people out. For the thousands of sports fans who already flock to the Motor City, it'll be a reason to stick around after game day. This place will be booming year round. But Detroit 2020 insider Stephen Henderson says game crowds are not enough to sustain such a sweeping plan. We need a lot more people living here, working here, playing here. The pent up demand is there now, but Henderson asks, will it be there in three years when the project is complete? Sometimes that stuff comes through, sometimes it comes up a little short. The new 20,000 seat hockey arena and new residential housing will be built mostly on vacant lots on the northern edge of downtown, many of which the Illich family already owns. And tens of millions of dollars will go toward new street lighting, public green spaces, and streets. The Illich organization says the project could generate 8,300 construction jobs and more than 1,000 permanent ones. I think it'll bring revenue. It'll bring people outside the city in the city. So it's got to help bring jobs. The plan looks and sounds good. Now the real work, the execution begins. There's no better time than right now to, to be talking about this. It's just a question of whether we can make it all happen the way that it's being envisioned. Groundbreaking is slated for this fall, and the new arena is set to open summer of 2017. In downtown Detroit, Jane Park, 7 Action News.